Hey guys, how's it going? Um, today I'm going to be changing a battery for these Game Boy Color cartridges. I have gold, silver, and crystal with me. Um, so we're just going to change the battery. They no longer save, but they do still play. Um, I have my tools here with me. I have a couple flatheads, um, very thin flatheads. I have uh, you know, a pair of tweezers. I have CR2025 batteries. And I also have this uh, tool that I got off eBay. I think it's like a... Uh, six star screw or socket to take these uh, screws out for the cartridges so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started on one of them and then we're gonna take a look at you know um, what the process is like also I'm, I'm using the GoPro app so it's you know it's kinda my first time I just got this camera so we'll see how that goes you're gonna see my phone right here it's gonna be kinda weird maybe like a parallax effect but alright let's get started so the first thing we're going to do is take out, uh, open the cartridge. So I'm going to go ahead and just open this. Oh, whoops! I got it the wrong way. Oh, still the wrong way. So there we go. So now we're going to take out the screw. Um, if you don't have one of these, you can use tweezers, maybe or like needle nose pliers. Um, or I can also provide a link in the description. Uh, it's a 3.8 millimeter, I think. Um, and they're like 98 cents, so it shouldn't be too bad. So we've got the screw off. We're just gonna push down slightly and then slide up, and then this comes off, and then that's our battery that we're gonna take off. Take it out of the cartridge, and now this you can maybe clean off with some soap and water if you need, if it's dirty. But this is this cartridge is these cartridges all actually are fairly clean. So I'm just gonna work with this right here, and what I'm gonna do is it's kind of difficult you want to be careful because it's just an intricate you know piece of technology right here so I'm gonna come up under it there's basically two prongs on the battery there's a uh, one arm this like spot welded to the top and another arm spot welded to the bottom and then they're connected to the rest of the board what we want to do is we want to pry off those little spot welds and then uh, <clears throat> take the battery out so we're gonna work on the top one first I'm gonna start coming in this way and just kind of pry upwards and to get that off See if I can get some leverage this way. Okay, I hear a little snap. Another one. So that was the first spot weld coming off. I just have one more to work off. And so doing this is going to deform the arm a bit, but I mean that's okay because if you ever do choose to replace the battery by soldering, the arms come off with it. The batteries you buy have spot welded arms already on them and you actually solder from here and there but we're just gonna do it the quick way today. So that top arm is now off. So you can see I'm gonna pull it back but be careful not to break it off and then you can pull this one out then you can see the bottom of it. There's a. Let me see if I can show you. Bottom of it. There's um, another arm, and it's spot welded on. So now I'm going to work for that one, or work towards taking that one off. I'm going to try by coming up under on this side and just pulling downwards. See if I can get it leverage that way. The cool trick is with this one is if once you get one of them off, all that the battery is really held on by after is just one of the spots. And so you can kind of just like twist the battery and it'll come off. Uh, if I get the chance to do so, I'll show you. Oh, you know what? Never mind. I just took the whole thing off that way. So the old battery is, you know, a 3 volt uh, CR2025 Panasonic. I have my replacement CR2025 from the dollar store here that we're just going to put those in. So I got the battery out here, the new one, the replacement, in kind of the most animalistic way possible. <laughs> but um, So what we're going to do is this is the positive side. We're going to put it on the same way it, the old battery was. So we're going to put it positive side, face down. What we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of electrical tape and uh, 
uh, that might be just enough right there. What we're going to do is we're going to put, we're going to bring this arm kind of up, and we're going to put the tape under it. But before I do that, let me actually take some time to try and straighten this arm down without breaking it. I just want to straighten it down so it'll, f the cartridge will close and fit like originally, like it originally did as much as possible. Um, I got a little bit of debris on my electric tape, so try not to let that happen to yours. It'll just make it so that it doesn't stick as well. So we're going to take the positive side battery, put it face down, bring the other arm so that it's touching the battery and kind of maybe flatten it out a little bit too. Bring one side up, tape it, hold that down, bring the other side up and over, tape it. So now it's being held by the contacts. Okay, there you go. And now that's our board and we're going to take it and we're going to put it back inside of its cartridge. Look for the little grooves, place it, slide up. Okay, there's not that much pressure. I think this one's actually okay. So I flattened out the rods pretty well for this cartridge. Now we're going to put the screw back in. We're going to tighten it up. I'm going to turn the game on, do a test save um, so we can check it out. Oh, we got a notification. Okay. Not too tight, nothing crazy, you just want to put it back on. So now I'm going to get the Game Boy out. Alright, so here's the cartridge. Here's Game Boy, and let's get it. Right, cool. So we have to go through all this initial stuff. Um, starting up a new file. So if you do do this, your um, your save file, your previous save file will be lost. There are different like devices that help you store the save file on like a secondary thing, and then you can put it back on this. But I've never cared that much for it. I mean, it's m the beginning of the game to me is more fun than in when you beat it. So I don't know. It's just personal preference. But if you are interested in saving it, there's a couple of things you can do. You can look on eBay for the you can look on eBay for that little device, or you can also, um, there's another way where you can actually have the game in, turned on and everything, and, uh, except, you know, you take this, you open the cartridge, I think it works better in the Game Boy Advance, but, um, you can have it out and open, and just do the change while the game is playing, and then, um, you know, once the battery's all back on, you can save, and then, you know, your, your progress will still be saved. Uh, uh, this get Shut up. I don't care about Poby Gear problem. I'm gonna kill my A battery. Okay, so now we're outside. Let me just save right here. Okay, now that we're saved, turn it off. I don't know, maybe take it out, but I doubt that would do anything, but put it back in. I got it going. And there is continue. Still has Sunday day. All that. So there you go. There you have it. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe. Thanks and have a cool day.